Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Life with Shea Rochelle. Thanks so much for joining me today. So here's a quick fun video. I decided I would take you all along with me on a trip to Office Max, Office Depot, to cut down one of my stylogies to go inside of a new notebook. And so first I'm just gonna show you how I am setting it up for the um, person in the store who's going to be helping me uh, with getting it actually cut. And so if you're interested in seeing that process, stay tuned. some decisions about some things I got going on in this here planner journal world and so what I am deciding for right now is that this even though it's so pretty is just too structured for me I have my sections in here and everything but y'all this this b6y is good as pretty as it is as perfect as the size of paper it is I just, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. So this is not working for me. And although my upstairs planner is not working for me, I don't, I don't, I don't get to feel good. Like I told you in my last video, I, I um, loaded. I don't get to feel good over the paper. And I'm trying to find my other one. I think, there it goes. The notebook that I'm using is a dot grid journal like this one it's really nice paper I love the paper it's pretty it feels good to write on but it doesn't give me that stylogy feel and so I think I'm gonna have to stick to making this like something else I think I'm gonna make this like my personal journal like I have a journal where I'm like journaling my moments and processes and something things that i'm going to share but i think i'm going to make this new notebook that i have like the one that's upstairs that i was using for my planner into a like personal journal for things that i won't be sharing and this is actually what i'm going to use it's a traveler's notebook i have no idea what the size it is it's like the length of a standard tn but it's wider than a standard tn like the 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 inserts that come in it are like this so it's the same width as a B6, but the same length as a standard TN. I don't know what that size would be called, y'all. So I decided that I'm going to take my B, my A5 Stylogy, because it's the same length of a standard slash A5 Stylogy, and cut it down. So I'm going to cut the length off. I'm going to cut like an inch off the side here. And because I'm going to be cutting into the dates that's typically on the top of it right here, I'm gonna cut along the top of it too to like just cut that completely off. And then I'm going to slide it into the pocket in here and use it for a planner. So this is the dilemma with me just finding a cover to put this in and using it as is. The A5 size is too much space for me to write in for my planning, but um, I love the stylogy and whatnot. And I feel like if I cut it down like this, it would just make it just the right amount of space that I need because I can plan in a B6 perfectly. And so I think this will give me a little bit of wiggle room and, you know, be able to keep on doing what I do. And I'm going to keep using my B6s for my Bible study like I've been doing. So I decided that I would take you all with me today to... Um, I, just, I called up there already to see if they uh, were open and they are to office max office depot office yeah the office store i think they call them interchangeably they're owned by the same folks now i don't know which one is the one that's why, by where i live but that is where we're going i thought i was going to be ready a little earlier so i went out i grabbed i had everything all ready to go i grabbed my um my stuff took it in the car Went by Starbucks, realized that, girl, your phone is at 4%. You better go back in the house and get some charge because you never know. Like, it's it's like been such a fear of mine that I decide to leave and go somewhere, don't have a, a car charger, and my phone is on like 4%, and it'd be just my luck that that time something crazy happens. Um, I mean, 
I just don't want to set myself up for failure like that. I don't think it's smart for anybody to do. So that's not what we're going to do. We're going to get some charge on this phone. And while my phone is charging, I do want to, I had cut lines already established. Like I said, I was ready to go on here that I used one of my, um, my little ceramic knives for. But when I go back and look at it, it's a little bit too, it's a cut, it's a little bit too short. I need it a little bit longer. So I want to just take my ruler and switch the camera around so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I am going to just redraw my cut line. Now, I was actually not even using a ruler when I was upstairs trying to do this, and I was not using my Zacto knife either. So this is gonna be so much more precise, and I'm not gonna cut all the way through, but I just wanted to be, what's it called, y'all? What's it called when you cut into something without cutting through it? Um, scored enough to where they can see where I want it cut. And so this is the new cut line. It just gives me a little bit more to the edge. That's what I want. All right. And let's do the length down just a tad bit more. Let me see, actually. I can cut it right Maybe here, let me see. That's where we need to go. All right, so let's do this. Trying to get this one straight is a pain. See your cut line, okay. All right, I'm hoping this is straight. That looks a little cricket, but whatever. All right, so got my cut line at the top. I gotta fix that. Hopefully they'll see that it's not straight and make it straight instead of making it crooked. Anyway, I got my cut line at the top and I got my cut line on the side, a new one that I have scored into the planner. All right, so I'm going to just give my Give my phone a little bit of time to charge so I don't have to actually take a charger and then we'll be on the road. So I will catch you guys in the car before we walk in. Okay, so we're here. I'm going to put on the mask. I can never remember which way these go. All right, got my notebook, got my cover, got my wallet, which also has a notebook that I've cut down before in it. Let's go. Yeah. 
つかなといてお腹ステープマチャーってね Yes, this will work I love it y'all well thanks so much for coming with me to get my notebook cut down and i will show it to y'all in another video once i got it all set up until then or next time god bless y'all bye